everybody, what is going on? It's Brian with you from the Game Common, and we are playing some more Civilization 6, not Total War. I've played Total War like twice in the past two weeks. What is going on with my brain? Jeez. Okay, so we want some aluminum, and then I think we're going to send you over here and just grab the stone while we're here. Those are our bonus resource, but they don't count for amenities, correct? No. And there's no amenities we can grab over here, correct? I mean, we need amenities. Also, hey, screw you, freaking, um. Come here. Like, dang, he's like right on my spot. One, two, I'm actually just going to immediately purchase this tile, because, yeah. Is there any other tile I want to purchase? One, two, we may want to buy the forest right away while we're here, too. I can't actually afford it, so never mind. Stockholm, not really worried about. Um, San Luis, there's no tiles worth purchasing over here. I mean, I could buy the ocean tiles, but whatever. Um, one, two, three, that's four away, so it doesn't matter. One, two, three, that's four away, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's grab our second source of oil. So now we can build anything that requires oil. I do want the copper. Does that copper give you amenities? Maybe? No, those are luxury resources. Wait, what's the difference between... Luxury gives you amenities. Bonus resources. Resources. Why, why is my brain not working right now? Resources. Uh, bonus resource cannot be traded. These resources can be harvested. Um, so, they can increase the food gold production output of a hex. Gotcha. And then luxury give you amenities. So the bonus resources doesn't really help me. One, two, one, two, three, four. Dang it. Should have settled right there so I could have got the jade. I was kind of more worried about what the heck was happening up here. So either way, that was a mistake. It's fine. We'll survive. I don't think there is any extra resources that um, we're missing currently, though. Hi. Yeah, sure. I could start paying other people for some amenities, and that would help my production. I think the idea is you build some... Um... Entertainment complex. Keeping your people happy. So I think plus one amenities from entertainment. So the idea is you get um, a commercial, or sorry, entertainment complexes, and then you don't need as many amenities in the city, so you can use those amenities in other cities. Um, it's kind of how the bonus works, I think. Saladin made peace with Gorgo. Cool. I wonder if anyone has a bunch of extra amenities they want to start trading me. Hi. Do you have anything extra? Uh, no. I don't really want to go through the list and find every single person and see what they have, because that might just take forever. Let's just try Russia real quick. Russia has a pretty decent amount of land. Uh. Whoops. What are the odds, man? Seriously. That's not twice he's caught me. Uh. Let's take a boat. Mission failure. And he was killed. Like, what the heck, man? That was like... That was like a 20% or a 7% chance. I've just basically failed every single um, every single time now, which is kind of annoying. We actually probably want to throw an entertainment district down. Where would we throw it? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So we could put it right here. Unfortunately, that's going to get rid of my hacienda. Which would... No, you actually don't have the bonus. That is your city, right? Yeah. So you know what I think we're going to do? Can't actually build another district because we need a population of 13. Dang, and you're growing really slow. Crap, I would actually love to put you right there. One, well, what about Monterey? One, two, three, no, that's four away. So we want to put an entertainment district there. 
I think. The other options here, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, seven. So no, that wouldn't work. I know that'd also remove our rainforest, but dang. But like, we're suffering from amenities across the board here, so. Meh. Okay, well, forget that. All right, what else can we do? We have you built there. Um, probably want the fish next. Even though it's gonna take a little bit of while. Hercules, your agent Mario was um, killed. Okay, so then let's see if we can just straight buy another one. Or do I have the military engineer? Spies. Spy. Uh, okay. I have to just straight build them? I can't... Yeah, nine turns. All right, well, that sucks. Let's go next turn. We have too many... Like, we're waiting for all these research labs, so there's not really much we can do right now. Probably don't need to finish the research labs, but sure. Okay, uh, I thought I was sent you... I could have sworn I told you to go that way. Fine. Come here. Goodbye. Get off my tile. They're on my freaking tile. That's right, we actually have open borders with them, so we can't really do anything. All right, well, let's work you over this direction. Uh, and hopefully they move off my freaking tile. The Aztecs did. Uh, we do want a hacienda here, which can give us additional food and culture and like slightly more production. Slightly. We're down to 21 turns, yay. After that, we can actually work on the wonder. Russia declared their friendship with China. China declared friendship with Russia. Philippines formed an alliance with Germany. Ah, America wants to trade a bunch of crap. I don't want to trade a bunch of crap. Mostly because I'm not trading my war um, or drinking alone at midnight. You should know this by now. The amount of times I have talked about it should make it really clear that I'm not going to trade it. So America is trading with Japan. Brazil built a shipyard. Arabia built a power plant. Okay, okay. Why am I a poison? You declared war on me for no reason. Now why are you pissed off? I didn't even like take any of your crap, man. Just because I'm not trading luxuries for you? Uh, make a deal. Do you have any luxuries I want? Yeah, I don't have any extra luxuries, so now, Sorry, man. Okay, we're in the atomic era. The chief incalculable Whoa. in war. Destroyer and aircraft war. carrier are both unlocked. Um, we could maybe potentially just use our money to upgrade. Um, so we need our frigates. I don't know where our frigates went. Actually, our ironclads. Ironclads we can upgrade now to destroyer. Yeah, our frigates we upgraded already. Yeah, it's our ironclads that we need to upgrade. So 250 a pop. Um, let's hold off a minute on that. But if he declares war on me, he's gonna be like an arrow behind. He's gonna get his butt kicked pretty hard. Um, so we're still at the same tier as uh, Australia. Um, I am just gonna go straight for rocketry. Boost through great scientists or spy. Yeah, let's just grab it, five turns. I do need to get some aerodromes, but I don't actually, I don't think I need them for the spaceport. Not be built on hills. I think we need to build one of those in Hermosilio, and I don't know. Maybe we swap this tile with Hermosilio just so it can build it there. It's the only thing I'm thinking. I'm hoping. Uh, well, we know for a fact we'll need one in Oaxaca. Yeah, we have all these extra flatlands over here. Although these farms are giving us really good food, um, but we may. Well, no, we have three haciendas. Dang it, haciendas! What is that district? Oh, that's the neighborhood. Forget the neighborhood, man. That's really cool, by the way. <laughs> Forget the neighborhood. We're going to trash it. What is this? Just a lumber mill? Yeah, we'd probably get rid of the lumber mill. Oh, we actually have aluminum over here. Oh. Um, they didn't tell me about that source of aluminum. Also, where's this uranium? Under here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we do have one uranium. Is it that one? I'm assuming it's that one. We have another one right here. And what is this? A lumber mill right here? We have a lumber mill. Okay. That's awkward. And then one up there. Wow! 
Heck yeah, man! Who knew? Who freaking knew how awesome this place would be? Okay, so, Oaxaca, we actually need a builder. We can't afford the builder, so we're gonna need to save just a little bit of money. We should be able to upgrade one of our ironclads and still have enough money, because we're making 421. So let's go ahead and then upgrade you. The destroyer. I love how the destroyer is smaller than the ironclad, which doesn't make sense, because the ironclad was actually not that large of a boat. Uh, we need more amenities. We know about that. So, question. I know you're suffering from amenities. So, you're displeased. So, citizen growth is reduced, and non-food yields is reduced. Which means what? You're just not as productive? Yeah, we're losing 5% production. That sucks, actually. <laughs> uh... The funny thing is, I don't think I can afford... No, we want this one. How many, wait, how many districts do we have? There were four or five, and I think the spaceport actually counts as a district. So, yeah, about that. That's awkward. Uh, so we'll finish the seaport in four turns. We really do want to grab the power plant. I really need amenities over here. We could potentially... Ah, it's not going to be close enough. Never mind. Man, I love this keyboard and mouse. I don't say it enough. I don't play it enough. Um, so we built you there. And then I think we want to grab a lubber mill here. Um, we're going to buy another builder up there. So we've discovered... Yeah, we know about that. We can, we can declare a colonial war on Montezuma. There's so much irony to that. <laughs> He's the Aztecs. I'm Mexico. I'm super advanced than him. I can declare a colonial war on him. Yeah. We have a bunch of new missions. We should probably take a look at those real quick. We'll go through the other screen. Uh, uh, Teddy, hi, buddy, pal, friendships, thank you. Uh, make deal, open borders, open borders, not joint war, alliance, gold per turn. Give me seven, man. Uh, six, sure, six. Thank you, Ted. I call him Ted. So, and then Saladin has made peace with Teddy Roosevelt. Okay, um, what did we want to look at? Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, sea states. I was like, no, brain. Recruiting great musician, probably not going to happen. Train a machine gun, that will happen naturally. Uh, trigger Eureka for synthetic materials. We need to build two aerodromes. Crap. We actually wouldn't mind that one. Recruit a great merchant, eh. You need a great rider, ugh. Let's, yeah, we already had that one. Construct a harbor. Really, man? Really? <laughs> we built like a harbor everywhere. I mean, we're, well, we're currently working on one there, but God, it's gonna take forever. We also need another builder here. Yeah, we need another builder. Uh, okay. Great general. Holy site? Yeah, that's never happening. Entertainment complex we're working on. Industrial zone? Yeah, and a great merchant. Okay. How long have I been going on this episode? We're at 13 minutes. Okay. My nose is getting, like, stuffed up, and I need to go blow out my nose, and I want more coffee. Ah, oh, that's fine. It's one time's like, I'm really enjoying the game. I don't want the episode in, but I need to do some stuff. So, North Korea is looking to found a set city. There's not really any spots left on the map. Like, that's the kind of irony. I don't know if it's really irony, but there's really only a few spots left. Oh, actually, there's a spot right here, and you can get uranium. But we're already going to get our two sources of uranium, so I don't think it's worth it. Bonus, luxury. So there is a luxury there. Hmm. I don't think it's worth it. It's interesting to see, though. Wasn't there another island over here somewhere? That wasn't really doing much. Bananas were bonus. I feel like bananas should be... Why, Korea? Why? I feel like bananas should be a luxury. There's that one. I don't see this other city. I could have sworn there was another island just somewhere that was just like a little tiny island that just had a couple things on it. Oh yeah, this one. <clears throat> so, luxury. Bonus. 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 Luxury. Bonus, luxury, luxury, luxury. We could throw a city here. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
It's gonna give me a ton of luxury resources. It is a very forward-facing city. Kamir doesn't mind me. It does potentially scare me. I think I may actually want to look at doing that just to get the extra luxury resources. Eh. Uh, you've gained to close. Yeah, I don't care about any of that. Monterey needs to keep more housing and housing. Housing I'm okay with because it doesn't reduce my production. So, this is my canal city. I felt like I needed to do something. We don't really need a builder, so I'm not too worried about it. The seaport is going to give me food and gold and housing. And I think the housing is okay, but it's about to be bad. Or we could get the market for more money. Or we could actually go with an entertainment complex. And we could throw it up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, we found it. Entertainment complex, please, right there. Give me the am amenities. 16 turns, that's not bad actually. San Cristobal, we really honestly want another builder up here. I'm not gonna build a builder though. Grab the factory for some more production. There's so freaking many uh, resources here. Uh, we want to buy a builder first. We're gonna buy him here first. Uh, purchase a builder. It's starting to get a little expensive to buy. We should probably just start doing um, um, projects. So we also have some stone over here as well. But I think what I want you to do is grab the aluminum and then the uranium. Well, we already have aluminum. Let's grab the... Well, we're about to get a uranium too, so... We actually can trade off our extra aluminum. That's the other thing to think about. Question. I don't think any of these need aluminum but I don't think I want to give John Curtin any aluminum if possible speaking of which does he have any aluminum I don't see any he has camels I don't see any aluminum over here which is good for us in case we have to you know start nuking him he also doesn't have uranium so if we have to start nuking him to keep him from winning the game, that is a possibility. If we build up enough nukes, <laughs> we can make sure we win the game. And if anyone comes and declares war on us, well, guess what? Nuking shall begin. So in that case, we should maybe look at grabbing some missile silos while we're at it too. Yeah, probably. The problem is... You know, we may actually just want to put them on. Because you can just put them in subs, can you not, later in the game? Success. Woo! We stole a thousand gold. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, suck it. All right, so we can do Operation Ivy. Thermonuclear device, Mars reactor, thermonuclear device. Only Kim Jong-un can do this. Huh. What's the difference? Oh, it's just cheaper. Mars. Where is nuclear submarine? Nice. So, yeah. I think we may just shoot for that, because I don't really have the space to build missile silos. Okay, Mexico City. We do need happiness, but we really don't have any spot we can build it. One, two, three. Yeah. Unless we uh, eliminated our haciendas, but then we lose our great artist points. Although, do we really need great art at this point in the game? It's actually a really good point. We're kind of filled up. Eh, kind of. Kind of. We still do get two production per. Eh. I can see it both ways. We also build the Eiffel Tower, which uh, apparently no one else can build, but eh, it's enough. Power plant gives me more production. I will want to build a spaceport. Yeah. Our housing's good. Let's actually throw down the power plant for now. 
And we'll probably switch over to a spaceport as soon as you're done. Who else needs production? San Luis? Um, I think a theater district's gonna be really good for us here. We're not gonna be able to extend the bonus anywhere. But I think we wanna throw one down anyways, just to help. I do kind of, man, I do kind of want an aerodrome too. But for now, let's grab the theater district. It's gonna be plus one because it's next to the hacienda. And it should actually get more bonus because, actually wait. Yeah, it should get more bonus because it's next to two districts. So, all right, hopefully we're fixing our, ah oh, crap, that was the wrong one. That was a theater district. Brian. Oh, that was stupid. That was stupid. Yeah, we're going to go back and reload. Oh, that was a stupid mistake. Yeah, I meant entertainment. For whatever reason, the theater district and the entertainment district in my brain tend to uh, go together. So now I'm going to have to entertain you guys for like five minutes while we load. Um... So what can I entertain you guys about? Let's see. Let's see. I already I already made my plea in the last episode, and I guess I'll reiterate my plea. Uh, drop a comment. Let me know what new civilization that they've announced that you want to see me play. If you don't drop it now, I understand, because they're still going to release, like, five more um, civs. I'm not going to say, like, hey, whoever gets the most votes wins. Like, I'm not going to create a poll or something like that. Um... But I probably will end up picking the one that gets the most votes. Probably. I don't know. It depends. I mean, okay, here's the thing. If Korea gets the most votes, I'm not going to play Korea. Uh, simply because Korea is very science-based, and I feel like we just are doing all already our science-based victory. In addition, um, we probably don't want to play Korea either, uh, simply because... I mean, I've already seen, like, I already have, like, three North Koreas modded in, so <laughs> do I really need any more Koreas in my life? What would be funny is to actually play a game with, like, regular, like, North Korea modded in and then actually play as Korea and then have it on a real world. That would be fun. I wonder if it works that way, actually. I wonder, okay, I wonder how the Korea mod actually works with the real world locations. Um, so the not another map pack. Like, does it put all three North Koreas in North Korea? And when Korea actually exists in the game, is North Korea going to be North Korea? And then Korea is going to be, like, right there in the south? Because that would actually be really inter interesting to play as. Okay, let's try this again, Brian. Um, we do need to do some alliance and friendship and all this crap. We did still steal our 1,000 gold, which is good. Okay, so Mexico City, we decided we're going to do power plant for a little bit of time. Um, all right, San Luis, we want an entertainment complex. Hold up. Aerodrome. Doesn't the aerodrome actually help you with amenities? Plus one production. You can get the airport, which gives us combat experience. And then the hangar, which is just combat experience. Now, okay, just double checking. Entertainment complex. There you go. Eight turns, not bad. Uh, we definitely want the uranium, so now we have two sources of that. Heck yeah. Uh, lumber mill, please. Thank you. Our spy? We can steal another thousand gold? They're gaining a thousand gold? That's over the course of like four turns or something like that. Still, that's ridiculous. But yeah, heck yeah, we'll just keep stealing his gold. I'm cool with that. All right, so our alliance with North Korea, uh, one of the North Koreas, uh, ran up. So let's go ahead and become friends again. Open borders, alliance. Open borders. I can't believe I have an alliance with North Korea. <laughs> gold per turn. Give me seven. What about an amenity? What actually... What if I gave you, like, two gold per turn for two amenities? Four, five. I think I'm going to take that. That should help my amenities, plus all of our entertainment complexes getting knocked out. We should be pretty good there. So we have a friendship over here with Trojan. I. Let's be friends. Cool. Uh, make a deal. 
Let's get some open borders. I don't think I want an alliance with you. You don't have any research agreement that's happy for me or that is does anything for me, so sure, open borders. Is there anyone else up there that we need? No. So we gain the civic boost towards nuclear program. Nice. Which one's nuclear program? There we go. What does this give me? Nuclear espionage. Spies who steal a tech boost without being detected gain an extra boost. Oh, well, that's nice. And then plus four great scientist points per turn, which is also good. Civic boosted. Yeah, we know about that. We need more housing. We gained a thousand gold. And Teresa units available for promotion. I want to upgrade them. I don't know how to actually do that. So let's cancel and see how we can upgrade them. Just because I don't want to risk a chance if I don't need to, so let's go next turn. I've never upgraded to Spy, I don't think, in this game. I've never really used Spies a whole lot at all. Okay, so I thought we sent you up here for... We need roads. All right, Aloxica, I need you to send a road to Toronto because, yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> okay, next turn, let's go. Russia is now communist. <laughs> in other words, uh, or in other news, um, I don't know. I was just like, what's super obvious news? I was trying to say like something that's super obvious that wouldn't be uh, uh, offensive, and my mind just didn't come up with anything. So Oaxaca is gonna finish its spaceport and or seaport in two turns, but we need three turns till we get rocketry. That's awkward. Are we pulling ahead anymore? 48, 51. We're three up now. Which is good. Remember, though, it's science victory isn't just researching science quicker. It's researching science and then building something. So we still need production. What would be funny is if someone actually nuked me and, like, if they blew up Waxica and then Hermosilio, I basically am screwed at that point. Um, just because those are, like, the two towns I can actually produce crap. So... We kind of want to make sure no one else can nuke us. Just, just throwing that one out there. Uh, okay, hold up. Let us upgrade, promote our spy. So sabotage production, don't care. Counter spy, don't care. Have a higher chance of escape. I'm okay with that. That keeps him alive a little bit longer. Okay, next turn I'll give him his assignment. We got our uranium up here. We still can't grab our fishing. I'm hoping he removes his units because of that. Oh, we have a ton of money right now, Brian. Let's do that, actually. Let's get you over here. Yeah, we have a ton of money. Was there anything else I needed to purchase? Uh, we want another builder up here. Where is our builder? How many builds do you have left? Three. One, two, three. You're good. But we probably want some mines and stuff like that. Perhaps. Probably want to buy another builder here. Could also buy something really powerful. Yeah, we still have 1,400 gold. You know what? Seaport's 1,800, man. This is what I'm thinking. Let's not spend any more money. Next turn, we can buy the power plant. Instead, let's actually switch your production to the seaport. It really doesn't help me, though. Let's do gold on all coast tiles. Ah, okay, that actually is good. That would give me more gold. So, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, Gilgamesh ran its course. Hi, let's be friends. And let us get open borders, please. And one. And free. Sounds good. No one freaking wants to trade pay me anymore for open borders. Which is kind of annoying, but okay. I did offer, like, I did give them my open borders, right? Yeah, see, no one wants this anymore. Uh, and then also to Kamir. Perhaps, yes. Open borders, open borders. Uh, you want to pay me? No one else wants to pay me. Nope. Okay, apparently because I'm pulling ahead or something, I don't know. We need more amenities, yeah. And I think 
we're gonna wrap this episode up here so hope you guys are enjoying it if you are drop a like comment let me know what you think as always hit the subscribe button join the game come in show your support i will see you guys next episode bye